Hey everyone, um, this is just going to be a short video on um, the CMake tool that we're going to use for this course and um, and how to integrate it with uh, VS Code extension, uh, the CMake VS Code extension. Okay, cool. Um, first of all, with CMake, um, you are probably familiar with Make. Um, make is just a build system that looks for a make file in your current directory and runs the commands in the make file and basically compiles your C code, for example. Um, CMake is similar but slightly different. CMake is not a build system. Uh, CMake is a build system generator which generates build systems like using, for example, using make underneath. Um, but for the purpose of this course, uh, you just need to think about it as Think, think of it as like make and instead of looking for a make file it will look for a file called cmakelist.txt and it will have some instructions inside to tell what uh, to tell cmake what to do um, so first of all you need to install cmake and we have a coding environment set up that has instructions to do that um, for a Mac, you can either use boo install CMake, but if you don't have boo, there's an alternative, which is um, if you can just go to the CMake download website, uh, you can install the Mac OS um, CMake GUI with either one of those options. Um, once you have that, uh, all you need to do is fire up CMake um, after you install it, and you can see a GUI here and go to um, CMake GUI tools and how to install command line there are three different ways but basically with this GUI um, it's not enough for us because we actually need a command line tool so you can run things like CMake right um, yeah so uh, you can pick one of those to, to run one of those commands and after that you'll see CMake in your path so I can do which CMake, uh, oops, that's make. Yeah, so it's um, application cmake.app content being make. So that's in the path. I think I used um, the first one. Yeah, so I just added CMake app content being in my path. Cool. Um, after you have that, all you need to do is clone this um, repository. and open it in VS Code um, to, and then we have to make sure that we have um, the VS Code extension set up yep I already got the prompt because I already have our CMake installed so you need to install CMake and CMake tools so with those two extensions installed um, the first thing you need to do is, let's do CMake. So those are the commands we can run. Um, so the very first time, um, or every time when you open a um, repository or a folder that you clone that has CMake set up, um, we need to do configure. Okay, um, looks like it's finished. And let me just go through the command. So, what are the commands? Uh, there are two different target that you can use for CMake. One is build target. So, target. Yeah, so one is build target and one is debug target. And debug target is the one that CMake will run. And build is target that CMake will compile. Um, so, at the bottom here, that square bracket is the default build target and the second one is the default debug target. I don't know why it's called debug, but it's the target to launch, meaning to run. So yeah, we can set debug target to one of the executables. Those, so those ones are the ones that's specified in this file that I mentioned earlier. Uh, CMake list file. Um, yeah, there's some instructions and uh, the way we set it up, there's other 
um, CMake list files inside each directory. Yeah. Yeah, so when we do add executable, it will add it to our target list. So yeah, those are just variables. So, but now you should be able to just select one of them, set debug target, and let's select the first one. Yeah, so now the target is selected, but we haven't actually run it. So we can either click this button. So that button is launch the debug target, or you can do run without debugging. And that should do the exact same thing as um, the run button. And now we got a little window. So if I click this run button, it should do exactly the same thing. Um, so that's the debug target. And we can change the target if you want to run a different thing. Uh, set debug target to, let's do something interesting. And for this setup, we need to close the terminal and then do run debug uh, run without debugging or you can click the button yeah I like to use I don't like to use the button because it's tiny and I have to move my mouse so I like to just so on the Mac it's command shift P to launch the command palette in VS Code on Windows it's command so shift control P yeah okay so if you don't want to run you just want to see if your, your code can compile you can do CMake build that will build this target right now is all so we'll literally try to build every target that we specify which is, is a lot you can see build targets four one two not in any particular order um yeah but you can also do build target which will specify a target to build but it doesn't set it so just for one it's just a one time thing yeah so that will just build it okay uh if you see this line build finished with execute code zero that means uh, it means it compiles successfully. There's no errors. Um, yeah, there's no compile errors. But you can also do set the uh, build target this time. Instead of all, we can just if we're just working on one thing, we can just build that one, and just run build. That will just build this target, which is five. Or you can just click this button. It will do the exact same thing. Now it's only building five. Uh, so if I close this and open it again in VS Code you should see the same prompt so because yeah every time we have to configure when we open it yes but then you, there's also this option always configure while opening if you click yes yeah you don't need to do it anymore now if i just run without debugging it, it, it saves the previous um target yep and if i close this again and then opening vs go because I click yes, yeah, it literally just configured for me and I can just do run. Awesome. All right, um, I hope that was helpful and thanks everyone for watching. Okay, so I just realized um, I didn't cover for Windows. So here's my friend Simon again, and he has a Windows machine. So he'll be able to go through um, how to do the setup on Windows. It The only difference is uh, on Windows, uh, VS Code extension will ask you to select a kit. Yep, that's right. So let me just go ahead and share my screen. Yep. Cool. So here I have Windows Terminal. I'm uh, inside of the OpenGL CMake repo right now. Let me just open this in VS Code. So the first thing that pops up, like happened in Kai's video, is, is that we have a, um, or I, I don't know if this happened in your video, but we have a, um, a kit select. So for my computer right now, I have Visual Studio um, 2022 preview installed as well. So I'm getting the MSVC compiler chain. Um, along with the Clang bindings for it. But um, if you followed our instructions, then you should have installed the GCC toolchain. And so when you run um, or when you open code inside of a repo like this, then you should be able to select that kit. So if I just select that kit, you can see it's going to load and configure it the same way. And just do the full configuring. Yep, that's the same. It didn't ask me to um, select a kit because I only had one kit on my Mac. so. That's why I didn't cover it. Right, right. And if ever you um need to know what kit, you can see down here next to the build target yeah. and the run target, like Kai explained, there's also this um kit target. So you can also just like re choose your kit. Or I think you can if you do on Windows Control Shift P, you can do CMake 
colon select, select kit. kit. Yep. So you should be able to get to the same menu um, that way. Um, now, uh, one thing also that Kai didn't mention in his video is just like what the whole like debug thing is. So debug is one of the configurations for CMake. And this is more about CMake internals than, than anything. So you don't have to like remember this. But basically, debug um, automatically puts in like debug flags and any um, profiling symbols that you might need if you're running like Gprof or Valgrind or something like this. Um, but there are three other ones that are like, like default with, with CMake. So release is like the optimized build. It's usually the equivalent of dash 02 for GCC or slash 02 for MSBC. I, I think that's the right switch. And then min size rel is, these are the things that no one ever uses, right? But if you're like writing a real game engine, hypothetically, then you would also include a configuration for test. And um, that is where you would have like custom tools hook into the compiler to track certain objects and things like this. But the so, main ones we care about are debug and release. So the debug mode is like um, when you write GCC and then you add a dash G flag for like GDB, for example, to know what all the like the flags and so the GDB can run properly, right? Exactly, exactly. Um, and it, it automatically will put it in. So you don't need to um, like configure it all uh, it, it at all, um, which is really good. I think it has a few other things that it adds as well. Um, but the, yeah, the, like, the dash yeah. G flag is the main one. Yeah, probably, and probably a just sanitizer if you have it. Oh, that's all the sanitizers. Yep, you would um, set those on, uh, to, to set those to be on when you have the debug configuration. But that is the main thing. And so for Linux as well, it's the exact same thing, although with Linux, it's a bit easier because you can just install the compiler toolchain directly. Um, but if you have like Clang installed for Linux, um, like Ubuntu, and you also have GCC, then same deal. You can just select the kit, extent, except it will say Clang and GCC, um, depending on what versions you install. So that's about it. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, Simon. No worries, man. All right. See you guys later. See ya.